Hello chess lovers! I would like to show you a very beautiful attacking game played by the first female grandmaster Nona Gaprindashvili. Her opponent is Lubov Idelchik and the game was played in 1964 in Moscow. Gaprindashvili started with e4, c5 by Idelchik, Sicilian defense, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, we see the Nezhmedinov Rosolimo attack, d6, white castles, bishop d7, c3, knight f6, rook e1, e6, d4, c takes d4, c takes d4, d5, e5, knight e4, bishop f1, rook c8, knight c3, knight takes c3, b takes c3, bishop e7. We can see that black is hurrying to castle kingside, but actually the center is closed and there is no need for extra precautions. A better move was knight a5, targeting this weakened c3 pawn. If queen c2 then queen c7. But when you are playing at once bishop e7 and then castling kingside, this allows white to play bishop c2 and after knight a5 here comes this queen d3 move, forcing black to play g6 and weaken the dark squares. Here comes bishop h6, rook e8, knight d2, queen c7, rook e3, both protecting the pawn on c3 and also bringing the rook to h3 square from where it can attack black king. Knight c4, rook h3, knight a3, bishop b3, a5, queen e3, and a very dubious move by black, queen d8. It's not quite clear the idea of this move. A better move was a4. Though I have to tell you that after queen d8, knight f3, we see this a4 move, but already it's too late. Let's have a look at that a4 move at once. Here comes a very crazy line offered by Houdini. Bishop g7, and after the exchange on c3, we see a takes b3, bishop f6, b2, rook f1, bishop b4, rook b3, bishop takes d2, rook takes a3, bishop c1, now the threat is promoting the pawn to a queen, rook b3, bishop c6, and according to the engine, black is much better. Well, black has this strong pawn, and also at some point black can bring the rook to a4, putting pressure both on the pawn on d4, also attacking this pawn on a2. But let's go back, after queen e3, we see queen d8 in the game, knight f3, a4, and here comes this strong bishop g7 move. Caprindashvili is not even thinking about this attacked bishop on b3. She's just playing bishop g7, opening up this diagonal for the queen. We see bishop f8 in the game. Well, if king takes g7, then this is losing on the spot. Here comes this queen h8 checkmate. After bishop g7, we see bishop f8. Bishop takes f8, king takes f8, rook takes h7, bishop b5, knight g5, queen e7. And now, can you find her next move? Ready? Well, the first move which comes to mind is rook takes f7 check. Actually, this move is also winning, but rook h8 check is stronger. There is a checkmate in four moves. King g7, here comes knight takes e6 check, again opening up this diagonal for the queen and black resigned. If king takes h8, then queen h6 check and then queen g7 checkmate. Or if f takes e6, then queen h6 check and then queen h7 checkmate. What a beautiful and destructive attacking game by the first female grandmaster, Nona Kaprindashvili. Your comments and questions, please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.